You guys, look at my ugali. It's so cakey. Ugali, mayai. Naskuma wiki. Kwani walitumwa. Coast always in me coming well felt down getting love from my city. Yeah. I roll call for the DMV. In my own lane, you could still ride with me. Yeah. Don't know I made mistakes. You won't end but it's too late. I don't need your support just to know I'm important. I will never sell myself short. Cause I know you will see me on the come up. Big dreams and big drip Talk is cheap, but please dare me to run up I'ma put my money where my mouth is Talk a good game, I'm my alpha babe Even on my worst day, still an alpha babe Standing next to me, you gotta be an alpha Hi my people, today we are going to Seven Foods as you can see. We are seeking the rarest commodity in this part of the world. And the rarest commodity is Tantara Ugali. Yes, you guys, you had me right. I came to Seven to look for Ugali. I would go to the ends of the world for this rare commodity. So if you have it readily available... Thank God, you guys. Thank God. Thank God, because in this country, we suffer. We suffer. Anyways, uh, this is me at Savon. Um, I love Savon, you guys. Have so many uh, fresh fruits um, and uh, a, a mix of so many things that you would not imagine are uh, in seven like this store has the hard chicken so sometimes when i miss my kienyeji chicken i come to seven and uh, i sometimes can find if i'm lucky um the hard chicken which is also a rare commodity and also depending on the day sometimes you have it sometimes you don't find it it just depends so i frequent this store a lot I am so familiar with this store. So anyways, guys, um, here I am. I'm looking for uh, the flower and I couldn't just find it. I couldn't. This is a new city for me. So this is obviously, this is my first time at Savon in this city. And finally, we found the Ugali flower. Hoop, hoop. <laughs> Welcome to my next channel. Thank you so much for clicking. If you're new here, can you remember to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, share the video with friends and family, and let me know in the comment section what type of videos you'd like to see from me. Now, I'm just coming from work, hence why I am dressed like this. <laughs> oh my goodness, so uncomfortable. But today, I want to bring you into my kitchen and cook together as we chat. Today I'm going to be making a special food, you guys. Shh. You know what? Um, this is what I'm making today. And I know some people might be asking, what is that? 
this is corn flour there's the white version of it but this is what i can readily access from where i live so i'm gonna be making ugali you guys ugali is a special commodity and rare commodity here in uh, wherever i live so that's what i'm gonna make today i'm gonna make some simple kenyan food i am so excited i've been craving kenyan food for the longest as a matter of fact i've not eaten ugali for like months almost one year to be very honest this is the first time i'm gonna be eating ugali in one year not because i cannot make it but uh, when you move to a different country part of um the good things that you get to learn is that uh, you get to be exposed to different cuisines my body has adjusted well and now uh, i can't say that i don't crave kenyan food because i do but it's not as intense as when i first moved to canada so lately i've been craving the simplest food ever ugali mayai naskuma wiki and that's exactly what we're gonna make so i went to the store i went to save on foods as you already saw i got myself my corn flour i already got um kale from a different store actually from seven years no from a different store yesterday so i have it here in the fridge and it's already chopped so makes it easier the chopping here is totally different from the chopping that i know of in kenya you know the way in kenya they are finely chopped kale is fine finely chopped in a very nice and presentable manner here it's like they just like take the leaves apart and that is chopping or maybe they just big do big chunks of that so yeah so i'm gonna be uh cooking so yeah Give me company as I cook you guys and uh, taste the food together. Now, I cannot cook looking like this. This is so uncomfortable cooking in. So let's change from this to this. Guys, these are the only ingredients that I need. A very simple a very simple meal so I'm gonna need uh, two eggs just one uh, tomato and then I'm gonna need uh, an onion I'm gonna need half of this beef cube and then salt I use sea salt I don't know if uh, is it sea salt or pink salt whatever it is this is what i use um and then i always use olive oil of course we're gonna need a uh, corn flour and this is the chopped kale you guys this is a lie they are saying that this is chopped this is not chopped at all you guys will see when i'm frying it so anyways let's get into the cooking okay guys so we're gonna start with an onion so i'm gonna use half and half half for the kale and uh half for the for the eggs there's no particular way but i just like cutting mine in small little cubes Who cries when chopping onions? Oh my gosh. I should ask who doesn't because onions? Oh my goodness. Whew, but at least it's over now. I was only chopping one onion, so no pressure. So over now you guys over with i like putting it far away just so it does not make me cry i don't feel like crying today so the next step is i'm gonna do uh is uh break my eggs two eggs usually is just enough for me so i don't need i don't need a lot it's more than enough okay i have a question you guys 
Who else snacks while cooking? I do. I don't snack on the food, but I snack on, uh, you know, little things that are in the house. Lately, uh, dates has been my go-to snack. You guys, I hated dates. I hated dates with all my heart until I grew up. You know, like when you grow up, you eat things not because you like them, but because they're good for your body, you know? <laughs> So I bought dates and I was like, okay, this is the second try. Let's see. And then I got these dates from um, Whole Foods. You guys, these things look ugly. You know, they look so ugly. I don't know why, but they are so good. These things are better than candy. So they just look ugly, but they're so good. I feel like these are actually nature's candy. These are very good. They have lots of calories, you guys. Uh, I've been trying to watch my calorie intake. Uh, so I can only eat um, one or two of these per day because one or two is like 100 calories. Yes, I'm counting my calories, you guys. I am counting my calories. Cause you know what i don't want to gain weight i've been like keeping track and i'm doing so well that i cannot give up right now so while we cook we're gonna snack on one of these i'm gonna be cutting the the tomato i just need one because i'm only frying two two eggs and i don't need it for the kale You guys, I do not use tomatoes for my kale. I don't know if it's just me, but I like my kale super green. Nothing red in it. So I don't use tomatoes in my kale. It's just, that's just how I like it. I know there are people who use uh, tomatoes for their, for their kale. I rarely use tomatoes in any type of... Um, any type of uh, veggies, whether it's indigenous or <laughs> non-indigenous uh, uh, vegetables are called what? Is there a name for it? Whether local or not local, I don't add. So um, I have definitely uh, chopped the tomatoes and the onions and that's the only ingredients that i need so i'm just gonna add salt i'm just gonna add salt on uh, on the eggs i like mixing my salt before i fry it Guys, I prep these things because when I start cooking, it's go, 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 go. I use olive oil in all my cooking. I don't know if... I don't know if there's a difference or not, but olive oil is supposed to be good for you, so why not? I use it in cooking everything. So you guys, let's turn on the cooker, which is this Bina Rush. So this is the first one. This is where I'm gonna be uh, cooking um, the kale. And then this is where I'm gonna be cooking the um, the eggs so I'm gonna add uh, uh,
you guys, I need you to tell me what food can you not do without? And for instance, you move to a different country where getting your your food, your country's food is kind of challenging. What food can you not live without? If you can just imagine if you're, you've ever been abroad or you're planning to go abroad or you've never been, but just the thought of uh, what you're going to miss worries you. Tell me in the comment section what food you can't do without. For me, it's Miranda, surprisingly. You guys, I went to the depths, the bottom of the depths, of the heights. I went all out to find Miranda. This thing, I can't live without. So I buy it on Amazon, surprisingly, and uh, Ethiopians also eat it. So the, the vendor selling it uh, on Amazon is from Ethiopia. So I just go on Amazon and order like lots of packets. And this takes me for a while. That's the food I can't do, do without you guys. Surprisingly. And it goes without saying that I can't do without ugali as well. Even though I can stay for a year without eating ugali, I definitely at some point start to miss it and crave it and I want it. Like when I want it, I want it then and then. Good thing we can find a uh, corn flour in this country. I was chilling with the bros who was up for a night out. Yeah. Saw you in the cut with that wifey demeanor. Damn. Looking so bored out your mind though. You kind of give me the sign. You guys, this is kale. They say it's chopped kale. I don't think it's chopped. Is this chopped, you guys? We meet again, be waiting all these stormy night, oh yeah, stormy night, oh yeah. I found you on my way yet again, we must be meant for each other, girl, oh yeah. Baby, don't fight it, babe. Sun don't shine when you go away, eh. Hey. Baby, won't you come home right now? Baby, won't you come home right now, yeah. Need to know that you okay, okay, with everything I gave up for you, did it, for love, no escape. This is not chopped at all. In a kisirani too. But, you learn to eat it as it is. No complaining, my friend. I am multitasking, you guys. Write my multitasking skills in the comments. Can you even? Can you? Look at how green my kale is. I love it. Time for the egg. This just boiled you guys, so that's enough for Ugali. I think that's enough. Also, you guys, I don't, I don't use measurements. I just estimate. Did 
do you like how colorful it is i like how yellow gully is uh colorful but then you guys tell me what you prefer do you prefer the yellow one or the white one i feel like they taste the same so i really don't mind now that i've been eating the yellow one i actually even prefer the yellow one to the white one it's made of the same thing except different colors but the yellow one also like decorates my plate so that's a plus but again also it's so hard to find a white flower here so I use what I have I am my mama's daughter I was taught how to shape it mm. see it's now very ready you guys so time to eat you guys look at my ugali it's so cakey When you live alone, you kind of go by your own rules and just do whatever. So yeah, let me enjoy my food. Welcome you guys. The secret is to eat it by hand. Not by a spoon, not a fork. It's not a sweet. Trust me. Trust me. Welcome, you guys. Welcome. Mm. Hmm. This is good. Mm. Mm-hmm. 